Over the last few centuries, the human population has increased dramatically and placed enormous demands on the Earth's ecosystems. The human population affects the living Earth in a number of ways. First, by releasing pollutants into Earth's atmosphere and waterways and onto the land itself. And secondly, by the direct destruction of habitat to create cities, build roads, develop agriculture, exploit natural resources, dispose of solid waste, and pursue other human endeavors. In the most general biological sense, pollutants are materials such as organic or inorganic chemicals or types of energy such as heat or sound that, when released into an ecosystem at certain levels, threaten species populations in that ecosystem and, in turn, often the entire ecosystem itself. In a narrower, human-centered sense, pollutants are materials, or types of energy, that when present in the environment at certain levels, have adverse effects on human health, activities, or survival. Materials released into the environment fall into two broad categories, biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Biodegradable materials are largely those like sewage, scraps of food, and oil pollutants that were initially created by biological processes and that can be broken down into their component parts and recycled through the food chain by decomposing microbes and other organisms. Non-biodegradable materials cannot be broken down by natural processes or are broken down only very slowly. Examples of non-biodegradable materials are asbestos, glass, various plastics, elements such as lead, mercury, and cadmium, radioactive wastes, and chemicals such as DDT, dieldrin, and PCBs. Once these materials are released into the environment, they remain there for a long time, sometimes forever. 